Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. Spring Boot 4 has introduced a lot of powerful updates, but there are one feature that really caught my attention that is Spring Data AOT. AOT stands for Ahead of Time. So when I started exploring it, I realized how impactful this feature is for modern application. It validates and optimizes your database queries at build time which definitely help in reducing your application startup time as well as it can help you to avoid any runtime surprises. So in this video, let's take a closer look at Spring Data JPA AOT and see why it matters in real projects. Okay, alright. So without any further delay, let's get started. So every time when we start our Spring Boot application, what Spring Data JPA does behind the scene, he first analyze your methods, then he parse that particular method into the query and at the end, he finally build the query for you. For example, let's say I have this complex query, find by name containing ignore case. Okay, this looks little complex. Now, what Spring Data JPA does behind the scene? First, he will analyze this particular method. Then next step, he will just parse your query. To parse the query, okay, he understand find by means I need to go for select operation. Then name is nothing my where clause condition. So he understand okay, there is also condition called where. Next, containing. Containing means like. Correct? Then ignore case. So he just need to make it case sensitive. So either he can go for upper or lower. These things will be parsed automatically by Spring Data JPA on application startup. Okay. Once it parses, then the next step he will simply build the query for you. So the query will be look like this. Select star from the table where upper then the field what you want to pass as an input and with the like. Okay. All these things done by Spring Data JPA behind the scene. Now imagine this. I just explain it for one method. But what if I have 10 or 100 method in my repository class. Then for each and every method Spring Data JPA behind the scene did these things. Parse the query, build the query and all these things done by Reflection API. Okay, Spring Data JPA internally use Reflection to parse the query, first analyze it, then parse the query and build the query and everything happened on application startup. Okay, once I start my application, then using Reflection, Spring Data JPA will do these things for me. And while it work, it also takes time and memory. So to avoid this complexity, Spring Boot 4 introduced Spring Data AOT. What this Spring Data AOT does, it simply move all that work to compile time. At application startup, what Spring Data JPA does before those things move to compile time. Or you can say build time. Okay. Now all these things will happen at build time itself. So on application startup, there will be no repetition work to just analyze the method, parse it and build it. Everything will be done at build time. So you will definitely get better application startup time and low memory usage. And another interesting part, if I will do some typo in my query, then I will get to know at build time itself. When I will build my application, that time Spring Data AOT will tell you okay there is no field called name there is a typo but earlier before spring data aot you will always get to know about your typo or any type mismatch at application startup not at the build time that is another way to catch your issue or to catch your bug before your things go live okay at build time only you will able to get to know the typo fine so don't worry I'll show all the use case 
by comparing Spring Data JPA old project and Spring Data AOT. So I have two project here, product service old which is nothing our Spring Boot 3 version and product service which is Spring Boot 4 version. Okay, this is the latest version of Spring Boot and if you see this product service old is still running on the old version of Spring Boot that is 3.4.12 okay now if you we'll check the product service this is what I am trying to explain Spring Data AOT in this particular project so if you we'll go and check the pom.xml you will find the version 4.0.0 okay and if you we'll scroll down I have added something called a execution plugin process AOT now why I need to add this particular plugin that is what the interesting question so this particular goal is required for repository AOT processing at the time of build you need to tell to the maven or whatever the build tool you are using you need to inform them I want to enable this AOT feature on my spring data JPA module without it your repository fall back to runtime reflection and again you lose all the benefits like Spring Boot 3 version. So that's the reason you must need to add this execution and goal. Okay. Now what we'll do? We'll just compare the application startup time between our old version and with Spring Data AOT. Okay. But let me tell you, since I don't have much repository methods, we don't see the significant changes on the application startup time difference but I can show you some number what we will observe from both the code okay but if you want to really validate it in real time project you might have bunch of uh, repository method so just give a try over there you will see the significant number changes now let me start both the application let me start the old application first then at the same time I will also start my Spring Data AOT1 so the old application took 17.053 second however the new one took how much 12616 and this number will vary since first time I start the application it will definitely take time to establish the DV connection and all these backend stuff now what I will do, I will just restart it again. Go to the old, restart it. At the same time, I will also restart my Spring Data AOT project. Let's see the difference now. If you will run many times, you will see the different number. But my goal here to just show you simple difference on application startup using Spring Data AOT and Spring Data JPA traditional approach. The old started how much time it took it is taking more time 20.23 seconds now let's see the new one so if you see it took 7 seconds ok so again since I am running in my local this number you can't guarantee uh, on spring data JP and AOT approach but in real time when you will build your application in different environment like QA or powerful environment there you will find the real difference of using this Spring Data AOT. Now why I am telling you will definitely see the difference let me tell you. How it internally works. What Spring Data JPA AOT does. As we understand once we just do the build our project using MBN clean install. All these things parsing the first analyze the methods. Parsing it and build the query using reflection all these things will happen at build time right now let's check that whether really it is doing or not go to the new project the AOT one what I'll do I'll just run MBN clean install so build is succeeded now what I'll do I'll open the target folder this is the beauty of this spring data AOT module or AOT feature now go to the classes, go to com, I mean your package directory, open the repository, you will see something product repository IMPL 
AOT repository. Can you see this? Let me open this. Behind the scene, what Spring Data AOT does, it parse and build the query for you and also it create one implementation class with all your queries. Can you see here? I have something called find by category in my repository. It's there. So it created that with the query what it needs to execute. Similarly, find by name containing ignore case. Select P from product where upper. See this. Okay. So behind the scene, Spring Data AOT create this particular implementation class and build your query to this particular methods. And along with generate this particular Java class, product repo AOT repository IMPL class, what Spring Data AOT does, it also create a JSON metadata file for each repository class. Now, if you want to view that, you can see something called product repository.json. Now, if you see here, all the methods, whatever you have defined and whatever predefined available like find all, delete all, all those methods will, will also listed here. See the name of your method, what is the signature and what is the query it execute. Okay. So this particular file, so exactly which method were processed by AOT and which are skipped. So this particular class or this particular JSON file will be more important for validation which I will cover in a moment. Okay. So this is the metadata file and it create this AOT implementation class. This is what done by Spring Data AOT at build time when I run MBN clean install. Okay. Now same thing if I will run in my old project. Let's run clean install. So build is succeeded. Now what I will do, I will just open the target classes. Come then I will go to the repository. There is no AOT implementation class or metadata file. Now another interesting point of this Spring Data AOT is identifying the typo at build time. Okay. For example, I will do the changes in both the project. I will go to the product repository and here I will type something anywhere. I will just do some typo. Okay. And also I will write a method find by category but I am giving wrong spelling here. Okay. I have added wrong character. Now same thing I will do in my new project which is Spring Data AOT1. Go to the product repository. Do the same typo. Now I will build this particular project. Run install. Similarly, I will also rerun the MVN clean install in my old project. Now old project you won't see any build failure. Okay. Because all the things will continue on application startup directly. All the things whatever we have understand here. Okay. So that is the reason on build time you won't see the error or build failure on this Spring Boot 3 version. However, you will find the error in the Spring Data AOT module. Let's wait for the result. Can you see the result? This is product service which is with Spring Boot 4 and AOT enabled. ORG Hibernate query, what is the error? Could not resolve attribute this. That is what the spelling mistake we have done, right? Okay. Could not resolve attribute this on this particular entity and this is what the typo you have done. Now same thing if you will check in our old project the build is succeeded. Okay. Now when I will get the error when I will get to know what is the mistake I did on application startup. Just start it you will see the error. So we got the error saying that could not resolve attribute category on this particular entity. Okay. Unknown path exception could not resolve the attribute. Same error. In Spring Data AOT module, you are able to catch the error or the failure on build time 
However, before that, in our traditional Spring Data JPA, everything you will get to know on application startup directly. And that is what I can say one major difference of using Spring Data AOT module. So I hope you understand the importance of Spring Data AOT module or Spring Data AOT feature. This might be looking very small feature, but trust me, this is very powerful for your application. Just give a try and let me know in a comment section if you have any doubts. Okay. Till then, happy coding, happy learning. I will see you in my next video.